Good evening everyone, welcome back to another video with me Andy, hope you're all doing well. In this video we're going to be doing, as you saw by the picture, one of those cool little grilling bugs. I love these things for like frosty mornings, where it's been like minus one, minus two overnight and there's a little bit of frost and the sun's out. I don't know why, they just seem to really work in those conditions. But uh, anyway, to start the video, this here is a size 16, this is a uh, Troutline E320 and it's a size 16. Bead we've got on there is a 2.5mm um, tungsten, this is a white one. I don't know why I use white, it just white seems to work really well. And the uh, thread we're actually using is Textream's Glitter Thread, and it's in, what's the actual colour? I don't know if I can see the actual colour on there. But it's like a pinky purple colour. Okay, I can't even see the colour on there. Yeah, I can't see the colour, it's covered by the, uh, by the thing, but you guys know what it is. You're all clever. So we're going to start this just behind the bead. Just take it down a little bit and then trim off the excess. Put the excess in the zip in. Put the chair squeaking again. And then we'll just take this glitter thread, just take it down the trunk of the hook. And then just keep it winding up. Now we're actually going to taper the body on this fly. Now what, because this glitter thread twists and I don't want it to snap, I'm just going to spin my bobbin and I'm going to take the glitter thread back down. And I'm going to use my nail as a marker so I'll stop there. Probably did a crap turn there, yeah I did. And then just again try and do touching turns. Go back up to where you stopped. And I'm going to spin my bobbin again just so it's not too twisted and doesn't snap on me. Again take your thread back down. Again, move my nail to where I stopped. Just stop short, like maybe one or two millimetres. Depends on the kind of it. If you want an aggressive taper, maybe two or three millimetres. Again, stop short. Come back up, I'm just going to spin my bobbin again. Again, stop short. And there's a nice taper on your fly. Now, next stage, what we're going to do, we're just going to do a whip finish. Just whip this off and get it out of our hair. And trim off the excess. Now what I'm going to do before I go any further is grab some, this is um, Textream Fluorescent Pink AO. So there it is. And I'm just going to start this behind the bead again. I'm just going to run it a few turns forward and back to the bead. Just to make sure it's nice and secure on there, trim off the excess. Now I'm going to grab some, this is the Gulf Thinman Resin. I've got the brush applicator on this. I've just dripped a blob down there on the floor, that's not good. I particularly want resin in my carpet. And now we're just going to brush, brush this resin into our fly. It should soak into this nicely. soak in nicely. Just give it a few seconds to soak in. I'm just turning the fly around just so the resin runs where I want it to run. So there's your nice little body on your fly. And then grab your UV torch and just set the resin on there. Give it a nice good cure just to make sure it's nice and set on there. It usually sets really quick, but I just like to be I'm a little bit OCD. I like things to be set, probably for longer than they should be. Now, I remember we've used this in a previous video and I remember the name of it. It's called H2O Shiner. Woohoo! So that's the name of this flash review, H2O Shiner. So we're gonna grab a relatively small amount, doesn't need to be crazy. We're going to create like a wing. Just moisten the end of it slightly. 
and just tie it, put a loop in and then just pull it back. Right there, I have my thread in the wrong position. So just tie that in. Try and get it right on the top of the hook shank. There we go, now you can pull it back just so the excess is not over the bead. And then just run your thread over just to make sure it's nice and secure. Now what you have to do is come in with your scissors and just trim off a length. So that's going to be nice and secured now. So there's your little, your little wing on the fly. So I've got a bit of H2O shiner in my mouth. Don't taste that nice. It shouldn't taste anything, it just feels like you've got hair in your mouth. So next step of the fly, if I can find it, yep, yeah, just behind me. Now this is my killer shrimp mix. I've got a big bag of it here. And this is, I actually changed the blend now. I use 50% of um, Trout Lime's Ice Dub in fluorescent, I think it's the hot pink, fluorescent pink. And then I use 50% of the Trout Line Ice Dub in, well, I've got it down here, I can't remember the name of it. Where's my bag? Where's my bag? There it is up there. Do, 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 do. It's yeah, the other 50% is this one here. So it's the trout line. What's that light purple? And I use yeah 50% of each. So I just mix those together. Now I'm just gonna basically put a little collar on this fly. There we go, so there's your collar. Now I'm just doing some thread wraps now because I want the thread to sink into the countersunk section of the uh, bead. It's just so the bead doesn't spin. I've still got some of that H2O shiner in my mouth. There we go, I've got rid of it now. And now we're going to grab our some varnish. Grab our Sorry, it's me northern that's coming out, that is, grab out with some varnish. Grab some varnish. Put it on your thread, and we'll just do, I don't know how many turns it is, just do a finish, make a nice neat head. Pull it tight, and trim off your excess. So there you have it. I've got like, there's another one out there, I've got tons of these, I've been tying a few of them. The wing's slightly thicker on that one, it's probably slightly too thick. It doesn't need to be a thick wing, it needs to be more like a, a thin wing like this one. But I've done got quite a few in my box. Great little pattern. So anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give this fly a go. It's a cool little fly, especially for when it's been chilly. And I will see you on the next video.